Hi, I'm Elle and welcome to eSpares. In this video, I'm going to be talking through some energy saving tips for your dishwasher. Now, knowing how to run your dishwasher the most efficiently is good for a number of reasons. Not only does it save you energy and mean that you're being more eco-friendly, but also in doing so, it saves you money as well. So we've got lots of tips to show you. Let's get on into them. The first thing to do is check the energy plan in your home. It could be you're on a plan where using energy in the evenings or very early in the morning is cheaper than using it during the day. And if this is the case, it's best to use your dishwasher and run it during the times when the energy is cheaper. So this might mean putting the dishwasher on in the morning after you've loaded it the night before or putting it on later in the evening once the energy is cheaper. If your dishwasher has got a timer function, this can be very handy in helping you to delay the cycle until a more energy efficient time. One thing to note though is it's best not to set up the timer so that the dishwasher runs while you're sleeping as this can be dangerous. When it comes to your dishes, there's a bit of debate about do you rinse them first before you put them in your dishwasher or can you put them straight in? The thing to do is just to grab a knife, scrape off any excess debris but you don't need to rinse them before you put them in. The dishwasher will do a perfectly fine job of cleaning them. And obviously that will save you gallons of water and potentially it will save you even more money if you're using hot water to rinse. So just put your dishes straight in your dishwasher for added efficiency. When it comes to loading your dishwasher, it's important to do this in the way that the appliance was designed for, because otherwise your dishes could come out dirty and that means running a whole other cycle and using all the energy and water that you otherwise wouldn't need to use. So, in order to load the best way, cutlery should of course live in the cutlery basket, facing up, or in the case of sharp knives, facing down. Plates should face inwards. Bowls should face inwards and downwards, and that's the same with pans as well. Then on the top shelf, just make sure that all your glasses, mugs, and bowls are pointing downwards so they don't fill up with dirty water and you can pop your larger ut utensils in there as well and then the last thing to note is just make sure there's nothing blocking the front of the racks as this will stop the detergent from getting inside the machine also when loading your dishwasher make sure to run the cycle once it's completely full as otherwise you're using the same amount of water and the same amount of energy to heat that water to clean fewer items However, it is important you don't overload the dishwasher because this can cause everything inside to not get cleaned properly and then you'll have to run a second cycle again using more energy and water. So that's it for the loading tips. Now we'll go into some cleaning tips that will also keep your dishwasher as efficient as possible. So the first place you want to clean is your dishwasher filter. To access that, you will need to remove the bottom rack of your dishwasher just place that to one side and then you've got the filter here. Now it's possible in some models you might need to unscrew this. In this model it does just lift straight up and there's also another part inside the appliance. So just give these all a good rinse, remove any large pieces of debris by hand and once it's all nice and clean you can pop it back. The next place you should clean regularly, especially if you notice a dip in the performance of your dishwasher, is the spray arms. So in this appliance, for the top spray arm, it's simply a case of unscrewing to release it. And the bottom spray arm, just give a firm pull to remove. Now both of these, you can clean with warm soapy water. And also if you get a toothbrush or a dish brush to just get into the holes as well, that will give it an even better and more thorough clean. Then to replace, this one just clips straight back in and this one just needs to be re-screwed. Over time as well, you will find that the seals around the door of your dishwasher get greasy and dirty. So it's a good idea every month or so, just give them a wipe down all the way around 
And don't forget the bottom seal at the base of your dishwasher door as too much excess grease and build up can even cause leaks, which obviously isn't the most efficient. To clean and remove lime scale from the internal parts inside your dishwasher, if you get your hands on some dedicated dishwasher cleaner, this will go through the machine, cycle through, and remove any buildups of grease, dirt, and lime scale from those internal parts. You can find some in the link in the description below. If your dishwasher itself isn't clean, it's impossible for it to sanitize your dishes effectively. So for a more thorough clean, see our other video up here for how to deep clean and remove odors from your dishwasher. So it's worth getting to know the cycles for your specific model of dishwasher because you'll probably find there are some specific energy efficient cycles that work best for you. For example, on this machine, we've got a dedicated eco setting that washes for longer, but at a lower temperature, so it uses less energy. And we've also got an intensive cycle, which means that the cycle will clean better for more heavily soiled dishes. And it means you don't have to run a second cycle for what's in there. If your machine is more modern or higher end, it might also have an auto wash function, which will adjust the cycle depending on what's in the machine and how soiled the dishes are. So it's worth getting to know the cycles available to you in your dishwasher, so you can choose the one that's most energy efficient for what you're washing. Drying the dishes at the end of the cycle uses excess energy as well. So there are a couple of alternatives to avoid this. If your machine has an air dry function, you can select that and instead of blowing heated air at the dishes, it will blow cool air, which will still dry them, but won't use as much energy. Alternatively, if your machine doesn't have that function, what you can do is just keep an eye on when it's at the drying stage, then just switch it off wait a couple of minutes so that it's cooled down and open the door to let your dishes air dry on their own. Our final tip is to note the positioning of your dishwasher in your kitchen and just make sure it's not next to your fridge or freezer because if it is, it will heat those appliances up and actually cause them to use excess energy. So keep your dishwasher positioned away from both of those appliances for better energy efficiency around your whole kitchen. And there you have it all of our energy saving tips to make your dishwasher run as efficiently as possible. And to keep all of the other appliances in your home energy efficient, just check out our playlist down below for all of our energy efficiency videos. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe for care, diagnosis and maintenance videos for all of your household appliances. Thanks for watching.